Hello everybody, how we doing, how we doing? Quick question today, car covers. More precisely, outdoor car covers. Should we use them, shouldn't we use them? Will they damage the paint, won't they damage the paint? I've been using car covers for 20 years now. When I lived down in London, I, I, I just had it on to try and protect the, sometimes you can just keep the car out of sight a, bit, a little bit, what you don't know, you don't know. And up here, since relocating, I'm only 100 yards from the coast. It's a very corrosive environment. So to keep the, to keep the salt air off the car, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Now, my experience over the years is two things, really. A, I can afford a slightly better cover than I used to with a Halfords, like a tarpaulin sheet it always almost was 15 years ago. And B, yes, they've definitely improved. The current cover I've got on the Mazda is uh, it's a three-layer system. From uh, I bought it from a company called Classic Editions, and uh, it works well. It works well. I don't uh, I don't get any condensation in the car. I don't. It it doesn't create swirl marks. It doesn't it doesn't buff off the paint. I think with with modern paints uh, uh, that are lacquered. Uh, I think that problem's gone away completely. The swirl marks were a problem. I think polishes are better, covers are better, and I'm spending a bit more money. So the swirl marks is the one that you have to be aware of. I don't really find them a problem. The biggest issue I have with outdoor covers is keeping them clean. It's when you take it on and off the car, you don't want to get a bit of grit on it. You don't want to... Um, you don't want to get any dirt trapped on the face that goes on the car. It's, it's imperative that you keep them, those faces uh, clean. So here's my cover. We've got a nice day today. First time in absolute weeks that we've had uh, a nice, dry, clear day. I took the cover off the car this morning, probably an hour or two ago, just for a couple of reasons. Taking it off to give the front, just let it, let it air, let it breathe. Um, I was also fitting a new front number plate to the car, which uh, which uh, has gone okay. This cover has three clips. There's one at the front here, one in the middle, and there's one at the rear. And I quite like that because it means you can you can work like you can you can uh, plug in your charger. You can take the front bit off, plug in your charger, do anything to the front, clean the wheels, whatever, um, and then pull the front back down clip it back together and you can do the same at the rear I'm about to um, I'm about to close the front up and I'm, a, I'm going to come around the rear uh, and I'm going to lift it let it air because I've got a little light upgrade to do the back to do to the back of this car today so I'll just um, I'll demonstrate how kind of simple it is really to to keep it on there but uh, at the same time you can still get into the car you can still work on it you can still charge it you can still make sure there's no uh, damage occurring now on the front here i've left the front off just a couple of reasons when this covers on it's tight it's uh, very nice and tight so on the leading edges the lights are here down here on the door mirrors that we can't quite see i make sure there's plenty of wax on these so that it doesn't when it pulls on it, it doesn't scratch or anything like that. So that's just a little, um, little, little bit of advice, really. Also along the front here, see on the nose there and the low level where it where it clips over. I just make sure there's plenty of wax on on there as well. The most important thing with this and any cover is not to let the surface that comes in contact with the paint get anywhere near any dirt, grime, anything like that, because that will scratch the paint. These modern covers don't really need to worry about swirl marks anymore. You don't really need to worry about it rubbing, uh, rubbing through your paint, but it will still scratch if you get stone or something, some dirt in amongst here. So just take your time, pull it down piece by piece, and you'll be fine. So that's it, this will clip back up nicely. Good thing about this cover is it covers the wheels as well. 
So as we've seen, it does give protection to the brake discs also. It stops them from corroding. It stops them from binding on, which is good. Again, taking it off, it's exactly the same. We don't want to let the surface that comes in contact with the car get any stones, any scratches on it. So just... There we go, piece by piece. You can see as it comes off, paint works still fine. No condensation. I'm just doing that a little bit at a time. There we go, this way. I need, it. I need into the boot today, this way. I can still do stuff to the car. I fitted the uh, number plate on the rear last weekend, so I can still do stuff to the car. I can let it air, but I'm not risking any scratches. Taking it off and putting it inside, that's where you've got to be careful. You can easily pick up a stone or something if you just let it touch the ground. So just be mindful not to let that happen. Again, in the back here, I put extra polish on things like the spoiler, where it's going to fold over, and on the rear bus trusses as well. Just, um, just to round it up, I've just finished my, I'm doing a, a little tail light upgrade today on the car, so I've been handy that I've been able to flip the cover over. I've been letting the car, while I've been doing the upgrade, I've been just been letting the car air as well, just drop the roof, just make sure it uh, doesn't get stagnant or anything, so fortunately it's not been windy today, so the cover's just sat there nice and tidy. I can carry on, which is good. So that's me finished. Just gonna roll it back over again. Just going little by little each side. Ensuring that the, the side of the cover that cut goes on the paintwork doesn't get in contact with the ground whatsoever. Once you get past the roof bit, it gets easier. Also begins to get a little bit tighter. Again, I like this cover because it covers the wheels, protects the brakes. Once this is all clipped up, it's quite baggy at the back. So, I grab a handful of it and I just, I just roll it up like that. Stick a cable tie around it. Keeps it off the ground and it prevents it from uh, catching any wind and, and blowing around. So I'll clip it up first and then we'll do that. satisfying sound when the when the clip pulls tight so here's the only drawback of the uh, the cover not being a custom size cover for this car as you can see it's a bit flappy at the back but there's a simple solution that's cheaper than the extra crikey I think about 220 quid it would have cost for a great size cover Try and get it even Stevens in the middle somewhere. Solution. That's it, so overall, the cover fits nice, the wind's picked up a touch now, it's not blowing, protecting the car well, 
So fortunate that it's right next to the house here. That helps when we park a car either end of it to try and, to try and uh, minimise the draft coming through. So that's it. Other than that, the clip works well. I shall check the car's still locked. It is this time. Catching you later. Hope this helped. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate it.